Well, hi and welcome to the Mariner. This time we're going to be reviewing the Spinlock Vito life jacket. This is the development of the deck vest, which I've done probably 100,000 miles in. It's a great life jacket for offshore cruises and races. I'm going to take you through the build, take you through some of the details. We'll set it off and see what it's about, find out if there's any weaknesses to design so you've got all the information you need to be safe and comfortable on the boat. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the Vito life jacket. As you can see, this is a 170 Newton life jacket, which means that when the bladder is inflated, it's gonna have a volume of 17 liters, and that's gonna give you a considerable amount of flotation on your chest, and that means that this is a life jacket rather than a personal flotation device. If you're in the water, this will turn you over within a couple of seconds, bring your mouth up out of the water, and even if you're unconscious then, you've got a much greater chance of being able to survive your entry into the water. The exterior of the jacket is made primarily of ripstop materials. It's very tough and I've run these for hundreds of thousands of miles, many, many years. We very rarely see any damage here. Anything that's black like this in the sun on a boat is gonna end up a little bit bleached out, but overall the materials are strong, the stitching stays together, and Spinlock is a very well-known manufacturer with a lot of great products who have really gone through the time to do the development. They've worked closely with the Volvo Ocean Race, so they've got products which they know work and they really know how to put them together. The Vito um, is a front connection point jacket, which also can come with the optional harness release system from Spinlock. This one doesn't have it. It would have HRS written down the front here, and it has another tag which is underneath that in the event that you're being dragged along alongside the boat or behind the boat, and you fear that you're gonna drown before anybody can rescue you, on the HRS version of this, you can pull that tag at the bottom, it releases this loop, and then at least you're disconnected from the boat. You've got something like your tether here, if you've got the deck vest life jacket from, uh, from Spinlock, then it will come with its own little knife tucked away in the corner here, which you can take out and pull. The HRS system is a development of that, so you can actually release it um, should you feel that you're in too much pressure and you're gonna drown. The front of the life jacket, also we've got this optional little package here. You can buy this separately and put it onto this jacket or find a way to put it onto other jackets, but this goes just up under the armpit. We'll see that when I put it on. It means you've got a great place to put things like a personal e to put some little pencil flares, to put um, a little VHF uh, head torch, all that kind of stuff, tucked away under your armpit, always accessible. This kind of jacket is a side entry, and that may come down a little bit to the way you like to wear your equipment. The deck vest and most other life jackets that I've worn all come together on the front, but it does mean you've got a lot of gear hanging at the front. This puts that away to the side, and putting it on is not really much more complicated. Just pop it over your head, and then do up the buckle at the side. Once it's on, the jacket has got a lot of adjustability. The deck vest jackets come in three different sizes for larger to smaller people. This, the Vito has the adjustment built into the side here, and it has a couple details where you can actually see where it says like extra small, medium, large. You can kind of pre-fit it to yourself. But again, it should be where you can just get a fist inside, and then if the jacket goes off, you're gonna have enough room to be able to continue breathing easily, but it's not so loose that it'll be able to come up over your head. This kind of jacket does not have the zip that we've seen on some other jackets that allows you easy access to get in there for your AIS uh, beacon. We've done a video about that. You can find out the difference between personal EPIRB and personal AIS beacons. Follow the description below. You'll see a link that will be able to connect you with those. This doesn't have, this is a very smooth exterior, but you could of course still put an AIS beacon inside and then it would deploy uh, when necessary. One of the major differences with the Spinlock Vito jacket is the unit which deploys the gas cylinder and inflates the life jacket. Normally what we'd have something like this one which is a uml uh, this is a pro elite sensor and this um, has the salt bobbin at the bottom it's got the cylinder at the top we've got a light on this one so we can manually inflate the jacket or we can wait for the water to go inside the salt bobbin and then the salt bobbin will release the spring press up into the cylinder and then it will get the life jacket to fire these are great but if the life jacket ends up getting too wet then we end up where they can go off 
uh, unexpectedly. And if you're on the foredeck already wrestling with a sail and suddenly your life jacket goes off, or if you're racing and you're trying to grind, or you're on a cruiser trying to grind and your life jacket goes off, it's a very difficult circumstance. What the Vito does is it uses a hammer uh, inflator. The hammer inflators use the pressure on the water. The unit needs to experience about 0.1 atmospheres, which is only a couple of feet below the water, just about a meter below the water. And then the pressure will then activate the system and then the life jacket will inflate. So for those who are racing, for those who are worried about being on the foredeck and their life jacket going off prematurely, the hammer inflator, which we're going to see in just a second, is uh, a much better option. Nice and easy on the front of this jacket to find a place to clip in. You can get your tethers, of course. These are actually Spinlock tethers. The Spinlock makes some of the best tethers on the market. We've got the single connection point at the front, and then we've got a long and a short uh, tether here, which can allow you to clip on in different circumstances. Very easy to locate, very easy to clip into. Once it's on, it feels pretty comfortable. This little unit underneath my arm here, it's got a little bit of, little bit of, little bit of kind of bits digging into me here. It's got a little bit of a structure that comes up into my armpit, but it doesn't feel like it's too much. Definitely better to have all my gear right there rather than in my pockets and hanging around me. Um, it's very close fitting across the top here. Got quite a lot of material at the back here. We don't have the uh, the kind of air tax material which we've seen on other life jackets, which promotes a little bit more airflow, but uh, it feels snug. I can maybe loosen this one up a little bit, but uh, I can imagine that wearing this long term without any issues. The deck vest and the Vito both come in 170 newtons or 275 newtons, which is more commercial, um, commercial inflation size, much bigger, much more inflation. So if you're bigger, if you're heavier, if you're going to be wearing heavy equipment, immersion suits or other tool belts and things, go for the slightly larger one. It's a bit bulky around here, but obviously almost double the amount of inflation when it uh, finally comes out and you're able to uh, relax in the water with a huge thing around you here and uh, and know that you're not going to be going underwater. Okay, the other thing with the Vito, which I really like, normally we'll see quite thin crotch straps, two crotch straps coming up to the front. They've got this single unit which drops down between your legs and comes up here and clips nice and easily. That feels like that's very simple. It's got a doubled over bit here that's nice and easy to adjust. So putting this on, wearing it is very simple, very comfortable. That's what we want to see with life jackets. It's hard enough sometimes to get people to put a life jacket on, let alone when it's some big orange thing with a big collar or it's some old ratty thing that you've dug out the bottom of the boat. Something like this, it looks cool. It, uh, it's certainly very functional and easy. You can work on the boat. And then of course, as it inflates, it gives you all the options in the world to be as safe as possible. Let's see, let's see how that works. Okay, so time for the unboxing. As on all Spinlock life jackets, they keep the uh, the toggle that you've got to pull kind of hidden away. You don't want it going off unnecessarily. It's down here in this location. We can get it out of its little clip, so then we give it a short, sharp jerk, and we'll get the life jacket to go off. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now which is inflated, we can see the main difference, which is this unit here, which is the Hamar inflator. This uses water pressure rather than moisture entering it to set off the life jacket. If you fall into the water from a boat, you are gonna go about a meter underwater. You could kind of slide off the side maybe, but that's probably because you're trying to crawl your way back on as you're falling off. If that happens, you'd go for a manual inflation. But if it's uh, getting knocked off the side of the boat, the boom hits you, a sail hits you, you're gonna end up about a meter underwater, only talking three feet. At that point, that 0.1 atmospheres, the life jacket will inflate. Um, but having the hammer unit really means that it's not gonna go off unexpectedly and unnecessarily. So a little bit uh, more economical on the cylinders, of course, they're not giving those away. Okay, what else we see here? We've got our top up valve as always. These are available in case you need to deflate the life jacket so you can get back into the boat or if you need to clear yourself from some kind of impediment. Again, when you've just inflated the life jacket, best not to press down on the center of this with your tongue, which we always normally do because you're gonna CO2 into your lungs. So you can use the cap turn it over, press in here, and deflate it slightly. We've also got our whistle for morale building tunes. And then we've got this fantastic antenna light, which is something that Spinlock came out with a couple of years ago. This one's not on right now because it's water activated. It's got two little terminals, which you'll be able to see. Once this comes on, you can see it's got this extension away from the body, giving a much clearer view of the light. It's also LED, so it'll run for a much longer period of time than we would have seen in the past where we had little normal alkaline batteries. This big red thing hanging up the side here is the lifting strop. If we want to be lifted from the water, the original place that we'd be lifted from would be 
this underneath here. Very difficult for rescuers to come in and connect here. So this big red strop is here so they can pull on you. Once the life jacket's inflated, this is where the crotch strap really comes in, as we've said before with these life jackets, not to be used as a harness unless it's absolutely desperate to go up the rig. But once you're in the water, if you are unconscious, this kind of chest harness is a little bit subject to, as you start to get lifted, your whole body goes limp and then you can fall out of the life jacket. The strop at the bottom here, the crotch strap, is the thing that holds you in. The material here is FTPU, it's good for 160 Celsius, which means that although it's not flame retardant, it can take a lot of heat. If you're involved in a complex situation where something's on fire and you go to the water, this will protect you from um, having a situation where the bladder has melted before it's deployed. We can also see we've got retro reflective tape, which really helps rescue as it bounces the torch light right back into their eyes so they can see you at a much greater range. So a really good life jacket, uh, bladder combo here, at the back though is its secret, secret deal. You see the panel on the back of the life jacket. This is where the spray shield lives. Other life jackets roll it up, but the Vito has it in the panel. This of course, over the top, a little bit claustrophobic on a hot day like this, but very easy then to uh, keep the spray off you whilst you're in the ocean. As we said before in these, uh, life jacket reviews, absolutely essential to put that on when you're in the water because the risk of secondary drowning. You may survive the initial incident, you may be rescued from the water, but if you've been breathing in seawater and you've got all the flora and fauna from the little animals and the little creatures that live in the water, it's gone into your lungs, that's gonna start irritating your lungs once you're rescued, once you're on board, and a little cough is gonna potentially turn into pulmonary edema. So keep that over. Keep your back to the waves. It doesn't really matter if you're looking at the boat or not. It's good for your psychology, but it's not necessarily good for the rescue. There's retro reflective tape all over that spray shield. Keep the water out of your mouth. Keep bunched up and tight and wait for rescue to come. The other good thing with this jacket is we have this equipment here. You're not searching through pockets and trying to mess around, find things. You may have a GPS. You could have a little waterproof uh, Cobra VHF in here and actually call back to the boat and say, look, I see you. Yeah, okay, you're turning, you're directly pointing towards me now. What a fantastic resource to have right there. You could also have a little chocolate bar in there, which might make this a lot more uh, enjoyable, <laughs> if being in the water could ever be enjoyable. So on the side of me here, you can see this is a pylon light, which is another piece of spin lock equipment. It comes with their life jackets, but it is purchasable separately. The pylons are good because once the jacket uh, inflates, this pops up. We can wet a finger and put it onto these two little terminals here. There we go. It's starting to flash. When it's in the water, this will flash away and give you a position. There we go. Bit tricky with spit and a wet finger, but easy to do. And then dry off and she should turn back off again. We've also got a test button if we need to use it that way. So the pylon gets a little bit further away from you. This just hangs down the water, no problem. All right, let's put it uh, down a little bit and look at the last features of the Vito life jacket. So just deflated the life jacket here and uh, something that I um, have to do now is a point which is very important to understand with these side entry and exit life jackets. They look very cool, but you see I'm having to like reach around and find a buckle on the side and then get that undone, reach around here. It's a lot easier often with life jackets where it's at the front. It's a design choice. For some people, this action of reaching around here and messing around with things on the side could be a little bit more complicated. Any kind of side entry or over the top life jackets like the Mustang, I'm always aware of the fact that I'm gonna to have to find a place inside the boat, brace myself so I can take both hands and do this job. This is very hard to do with one hand. So always maybe, you know, you're just about to go down below. Um, you can sit next to the companionway, still clipped on, get the release done on the side and then go inside the boat and take the life jacket off. Having to reach around and mess around with this lot could be the thing that causes the injury. Okay, let's get it off. Yeah. So the thing I definitely love about this life jacket is that this package at the back here is where the spray shield lives. Um, it's tucked away inside there. Normally you end up with a big extra bulge on the back of the life jacket where that thing's rolled away. And it's rolled away so, often people roll it away so perfectly that when it comes out, it's actually damaged from where it's been uh, cinched down so tight. So the fact that Spinlock have used this real estate at the back to put the, uh, the hood into, I think that's great. The other thing actually, just feeling in my hand here, 
it's actually got like a cap to the top of it it's actually got a little bit of spring to it so this spray shield could be a, a bit more of an evolved design than we've seen on some of the other life jackets again big retro reflective uh, tape on the back of it means that even if you've got your back to the boat they're still going to pick you up they're still going to see you it's all colored yellow of course yellow is the first color that we can see as we start to move from our night vision to normal daytime vision yellow is the first color that's perceivable so that's why most life-saving gear is uh, is colored this way and we've got some nicely clearly marked out things here this one says spray hood we've got another one over here lift here um, it's great to understand your piece of uh, equipment to understand how uh, it goes together but at the end of the day um, people may be coming to you maybe helping you maybe someone's got it on and didn't really listen to the briefing the fact that it says something and they're there for five minutes they'll work out oh okay pull this pull that and they can help themselves in the water okay so that's we've seen the uh, Vito life jacket in operation let's just get it folded back up which as you know is easy done with a flick Oh, there we go, much better. Now, if you want to learn how to put these back together properly, the video is down below from Spinlock. That can give you information about repacking the life jacket and also dealing with the hammer inflator, which is a lot to learn there. Could be really great for the situation you're in if you're worried a lot about spray coming over the bow. So in summary, the, you know, these kind of jackets from Spinlock come from a long heritage now of being at sea in all sorts of circumstances, all sorts of sailors. They have a wide range of life jackets for every different usage. The Vito to me, it's very slick. It's got some high-end uh, high design choices going on here. I love the, the hood in the back here, makes it putting it away much, much easier. Um, I love the fact that you can have the optional HRS, the harness release system at the front here, so you don't get dragged. I love the pocket that can go on the side for extra equipment. So there's a lot to be said for these jackets, also available in a range of colors. If you've got any questions, you've got any comments, if I've missed something, pop them down below. Remember to like and share. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about the uh, Spinlock Vito life jacket. It's certainly a fantastic choice, whether you're racing or cruising. Any other information like this, come back here, watch the videos from the Mariner. We're gonna be reviewing all sorts of different equipment. And this is stuff that we take out on the boats. This one is brand new because we wanted to uh, take this out and give it a bit better test as we go transatlantic in the next couple of days. So find out how that went and uh, I'll speak to you in the next one. Cheers.